for joining me. Um, this is uh, Christmas Eve. And this year, <clears throat> normally we do, uh, in my family, uh, we have a goose for Christmas, Christmas Eve. And um, this year we won't because the oven I have here is not as reliable as uh, I would like. So ruining a beautiful goose would not be in our best interest. <laughs> so therefore, we are going to make duck breast. They're fantastic here in France. And so what I'm doing right now, I have a little bit of olive oil and salted French or semi-salted butter. And two small onions are now on the fire. And I would like to show you this real quick. Opa, sorry, that was like an earthquake. Um, that is a broth. It's leeks, carrots, and onions. And I still have to put in pepper and some salt, and I'm letting that cook for, I don't know, an hour or so, so to have a fresh vegetable stock for anything that needs it. So there's that, some pepper, and let me cover the stock again. And what I'm doing here is I'm preparing a uh, a base for our sauce, so the gravy. And this will be with uh, mushrooms. Um, and in German, we call them Steinpilze. In French, they call them Sepp. And it, it's, uh, it's a really good taste. It's very round and, and rich. There's going to be some cognac in it and some cream. Who doesn't like cream? Um, right? I mean, of course people who are lactose intolerant, but they still might like it, but not, can't eat it. So I am now sauteing the onions for, uh, I would say five to 10 minutes on low, so they can soften very nicely, but you don't want them brown. Now, on the other hand, if you want a dark brown gravy, you, you want your vegetables to be fried or you know, sauteed at a high temperature so it's darker. So the darker your vegetables, the darker your gravy will be. And um, I'm going to tune you in when I put the next ingredients. Okay, this has been about 10 minutes and they are almost starting to get darker, which I don't really want, but it's okay. So this is a clove of garlic. Very nice carrot, washed, not peeled. Uh, I like when they have actually the peel on it or the skin. Um, when they're washed and scrubbed, there's no need to take this off. So that goes in and the white of one leek. Turn the heat up a bit so this gets nice and warm and then we'll turn it down and let this simmer for at least 15 20 minutes mm. okay that comes the heat very nice I'm going to put in some a nice pinch of third cell, so that is uh, sea salt. And a nice pinch of of the Provence, which will cook off, but um, a bit, but they give a nice flavor. And for the red cabbage that my dad's going to make soon, and for this the base of the gravy, I will get some laurel leaves from our tree out back. So again, I'm turning this now on low and I'll keep you informed when we do the next steps. Okay, so this is cooked for about 20, 25 minutes of the um, Vegetables are all nice and soft. Uh, as you can see, there are 
bay leaves in there from our tree in the back. And so I am actually adding canned mushrooms uh, in a very into a pot that I put back on high. And I'm letting this now cook open so that they dry out and get nicely cooked. What uh, I'm doing here is then, once this is cooked, I'm going to add some of the stock, the vegetable stock. And I will puree this then add cream and cognac at the end. Uh, one can also add port wine or sherry, very, very delicious. Um, Calvados, that's uh, the French apple, brandy made out of uh, apples. Very, very yummy. So, I mean, it's, your, your uh, uh, options are endless. And the nice thing is the alcohol completely cooks off, so you are only left with the taste, and it enhances what you have, but you don't have any alcohol in it. So, um, but you don't have to put any alcohol in it at all. So that's, uh, that's the, the other end of the spectrum. You don't have to constantly stir it, but uh, don't walk far away. You don't want this burned, you just want this nice and hot and soft. Softened and uh, so you can in the end puree this and get the most taste out of this gravy. It smells absolutely delicious. But it's not like a very strong scent. It's very, very fine. And there you go, it's boiling up and I'm gonna let it simmer for another 15, 20 minutes. And then we're gonna take the bay leaves out and puree it and um, add the other ingredients. I keep you posted. nice cream and See, I just parade the sauce and we have a very thick, really thick concoction here. <laughs> uh, just heard something. I think my dad's coming. Let's see what he has to say. So one of our light lights outside um, just died on us. Uh, so we have to, Dad and I, uh, we said we're doing it together, uh, have to put the light back up. So tonight when uh, time comes, we actually have a nice light out there. Oh, the, the two uh, lights are back on so that the chateau looks lovely. Uh, not that it wouldn't, but just the symmetry of it. So I'm letting this come to a, little, to a boil for a little while. And because I parade all the vegetables, I don't have to thicken this. Now, uh, there is, of course, the option of not using the vegetables. Um, you can, if you want to, um, put this through a sieve and then use a roux to thicken the sauce. It's Completely up to you, whatever tastes better to you. So now that it won't cook uh, more, 
just once more. Hoppa, that's like a big explosion here. Um, I'm going to put on some more Herbe de Provence. So we have uh, a nice, smooth, rounded end to with fret with the herbs added. a little good shot glass full of cognac that I've put in here. As I'm always pointing out, I'm a cook, I'm not a scientist. So for me, um, for example, candle making is a discipline where I um, have to really see that I do it right, not just Oh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That does not work when it comes to baking and candle making, as far as I know. But cooking, it should be just fun. Um, for most things, do not need to be extremely precisely measured. So this is just more me. Okay, let me get a clean spoon. Mmm. Oh, nice. Very, very tasty. Let me turn this off. Okay, I can put this aside now. And cover it. And we only have to then see that it's hot when we need it. And voila. The sauce is done. And quite frankly, the, the cognac in it, it makes it so smooth and um, tasty. So it's, it's something I like, but please, again, this is all about what your taste says, not what I tell you or anyone else.